Hello everyone, FunshineX here, bringing you a new game called Reyes. Just came out on Steam today or yesterday, I'm not sure. Uh, it looked fun, it's a godlike game where you build civilizations, you control them, help them grow, that kind of thing. So, I'm going to get started completely blind, go through the tutorials a little bit, and then we'll start a full let's play with the actual campaign, or you know, the era mode as they call it in this game. So let's do a new game, the beginning of the first era, and see what it's all about. I uh, watched the the Steam previews, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> so hopefully it's good. Um, so I guess this is our world. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. And we're the god. We awaken from slumber. Our surface of our world is dry and barren. It's lifeless. Uh, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Oh, there we go. Cool. Get right in up close. Or we can zoom all the way back out and see the whole planet. Arrow keys do the same thing. Cool. And left mouse button, I was already trying that, so yep, could spin the world around. Whoa, Superman! Uh, you can always use the arrow keys, okay, standard controls, that's good, I like when the people do that. Uh, using what strength, you create the ocean giant and the rock giant. So basically I've got these minion giants that I control them and they build the world for me. This is my rock giant, I assume? Nope, that was my ocean giant. <laughs> that's completely wrong, rock giant, yeah, there we go. Okay, your goal is to have life roam your surface. Uh, so you have dry wasteland. Dry wasteland, no natural, okay. Turn it into a paradise. If click on a portrait of the giant, okay, we can select them. Get their ability bar, cool. Move your giants, uh, right mouse button. Oh, there he goes. Cool. Uh, move your rock giant and your ocean giant next to each other. Sure. I do like that the controls are pretty standard. That was very intuitive. Didn't have to learn anything. Use the left mouse button on a patch of land. I've used statistics. Yep, everything's a wasteland. Uh, dry wasteland cannot sustain any life. Must be terraformed in order to become habitable. Okay. Use the create ocean of the ocean giant and make an ocean. Sure. Here he goes, make an ocean. What's he gonna do? Haha, <laughs> nice. He's gonna beat the land down. Oh, look at this. I got like, uh, it turned colors. Well, that must be wet. Maybe I can farm on it, right? <laughs> no, who knows? Uh, this is a Minecraft. Uh, we did the ocean. Okay. Well done. Ocean's the first step. You sense something trembling beneath the surface. Uh oh. Oh. Thought I would made like a volcano or something. Oh, a tree giant, or a forest giant. Ah, select the forest giant. Okay, you can also double click. Okay, cool. So we get to them more easily. Uh, forest giant flows with life. Its powers will follow it to create lush forests. Uh, use the forest giant to raise a forest. Forests require water from the oceans. Okay. So I'm guessing if I build it here, it won't work because there's no water. So let's build it. Right here on the water. Do your thing, forest giant. There he goes, I've got a forest, woohoo! Green sparkles. Next. Okay, since life flame, the rock giant has gained a new ability. What does he can do? Raise a mountain on dry wasteland to create a desert. Caution, raising a mountain on a village will destroy it. Okay. Sure, let's make a mountain yeah, right here in the ocean. Raise a mountain and dry we seem to create this one. Okay, I guess I'm doing that. There's our desert. <laughs> cool. So we got like a mountain desert and then a desert. Excellent, mountains can cancel out oceans. Okay, use all your abilities to cover at least half the patches and have the land. Can I, like, make a super tall mountain? Whoop. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. There was, like, a warning I didn't listen to. Oh, yeah, so it's like caution. Okay, then we won't do that. Let's, um, let's make a forest. Let's have ocean here as well. No, we don't actually need ocean there because it will make this fertile so that he can make a forest right here. Okay, and map. 
mountain man. I want this area to be like super mountainous. There we go. That's what we wanted. Nice. That might have not been good. I don't know if people could live in there. Uh, let's see. You got a desert. Maybe another mountain on the other side of the desert. And what's going on over here? You guys working yet? Oh, he's probably waiting for the ocean to be created. You try again. Yeah. And you come make another ocean right here. Make a nice big ocean. Forest man. Oh, looks like we're good. So that's our world. We got some wasteland, we got some desert, big hilly area here, a couple oceans, and a big forest. Awesome. I think we're good. What's it next? Oh, that looks like it might have been it for tutorial one. <laughs> it's like, here's what you have created. Well done, you've accomplished your goal. We've learned how to create oceans, forests, mountains, and deserts. Uh, continue to achieve. Okay, we got achievements. Nice, we got an achievement. Next tutorial. This is going quick, cool. Uh, Alright, let's see, we got people maybe. Welcome to the second area, always press question mark. Again, you find your surface dry and barren again. What? Okay, looks like we got to do that whole thing all over again. Wonderful. Maybe it'll do it for us. A faint spark of life somewhere deep down below. Is it asking for surface to live on? All right, we need a, a forest of at least ten patches. Alright, ocean here, forest, right at the edge, that should give me ten patches, oops, or not, just in case, come on over here, how big is that, four, five, six, yeah, that's plenty, next, you sense a change, somewhere in the cave, something small has awakened, forest giant has gained a new ability, Use the four giants fruit plant ability to plant some trees in the forest. Plants give the food around 30 seconds. Here's some food, go eat it. There's nobody to eat it below. Well. Woohoo! Grab 10 food if next to an apple tree. Oh, so there's maybe like some combos you want to set up. Whoa, we got people. Where do these come from? Take a little buoy so they don't get in the ocean. We got one of five happiness, or one of five fruits, maybe? I don't know. You know hopefully it teaches us. Oh. We should learn about the humans. Click on a village to see the village borders. Okay, so they go out to there, and to there. Okay. Each end of the village is marked with a bunker or a buoy. Okay. He's hungry. Not placing plants, animals, and minerals with the village borders will generate resources. Villagers want to grow. You're using food, wealth, and technology. Contact control of sacrificial and found the patches here they're producing. Control. Oh my goodness, look at this. Happiness, we got some leaves, we got some hearts, sure. The blueberries providing five foods, the maximum food the village can use is five. Village resources can be by selecting the village. We're in the village panel. Okay. Right corner. Danger zero. Greed, nothing. Sure. You can see how much food is being used, how much food is there available. Okay. Place more fruit pants within the borders. Sure. How about here? Here's some more blueberries for you. 
No, they're happy. They want bananas down. As you can see, in the village farm, two blurries, two blurries of ginning, ten food. Cool. I speed things up by adding extra resources. Okay. I'm gonna raise it to eleven, huh? Okay. Here's some more. Right on the ocean. Grow some blueberries for you. So they can't grow in the ocean. Right, come over here. Oh, that's why it wanted at least ten block blocks, huh? <laughs> Tricky. Why is there an exclamation mark there? Oh, that was dumb. That's the wrong button. I meant to do this one. That's why there's an exclamation mark there. There already was a forest. There we go. Uh, 15, come on, get up to 11. It's like little sims here. 9. They're really happy. Come on. Ten and eleven. Come on, eleven, eleven, eleven. <laughs> Eat your apples. There we go. Okay, well done. The village is growing. They've started building something in their village. Whoa! What are they building? A granary. They like my help. Uh, click the project patch. Specialization, uh, mushroom eaters, plus 15 food for each mineral within the borders. Okay. Requires minerals to provide its boost. I need to complete it to gain that special... Da -da. Objectives, 20 food in use. Uh, he has great new ability. He's the domestic animal's ability in the forest. Okay. Come on over here in the forest, buddy. Hmm. Exclamation mark. But I don't have any more room to put it here. Can't put it there. Let's try and see what it does here. Hey, look, we got what we got. Little animals. Oh, little chickens! All animals have an area of effect. Click on the animals to view the range light up beneath. Oh, there we go, the range. And the statistics, three food if a blueberry is within range. Okay. Do you know symbiosis? Yes, I do notice it. See if you can use the symbiosis of the chickens. Yep, I can do that by putting some blueberries next to them. Did I just click the wrong button again? Okay, good. Look at that! Symbiosis! Woohoo! Replacing a flu few blueberries with chickens could provide you more food. Okay, sure. Oh, well, look at it all grow. That's awesome. Four nine eight four. Uh, we could probably put some blueberries right here. There we go. Look at all that. Are we eating twenty food yet? 
14. How many do we have in use? 17, 21. Oh no, they've got 29 within range, it's saying. I don't know how, because that's only 21. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, let's get up to 20, come on. Nineteen. Oh, this game's gonna have a lot of waiting. Can I get the plus button? No. Twenty. Woohoo! Ambassador wants to join you. Oh, they're so happy with me. They love their giants. Hello. Villagers has decreed their ambassador to join you. It's to climb on my shoulders and increase my strength. Really? Sure. Ch jump on. Oh, oh. We got a rock giant back. That is need of a new ability. Select the rock giant and right mouse to press. Come on, get on the rock giant. <laughs> I don't know if a rock giant came and picked me up, I'd be too excited about that. But this guy seems to want it. You forever now live on top of rock giant man. <laughs> that's cool. Now he has a new ability. Hey, that's cool. Now we can put minerals. Uh -huh. Select the patch of greenery to get a specialization. I already know that. Extra field, okay. So we want to give him minerals, but we don't want to break anything. How close does it have to be? Nope, 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 nope. Go away. Uh, you, what's your border? Doesn't say. Alright, well, we'll just try right here. This should go up quite a bit, hopefully. Let's go down. There we go. Yeah, that went way down. Up, and this one down. We got minerals underground. Got the purple minerals. Created agate. Build has grown and developed greatly since you awakened, but since there's still life roaming around, hoping to find a place to settle. We need some desert patches, huh? As far away from the ocean as possible. Okay, well, Rockman, come over here. Make a desert. Uh, you can walk a little bit faster. Come on. <laughs> it's got an interesting knee. I think that would hurt. What am I saying? He's a rock giant. He doesn't have feelings. <laughs> I do too. Oh, I guess he does. Uh, maybe that wasn't so great, putting him as far away from the ocean and forest as possible. Oh well. Maybe we'll create two rival villages, the desert people versus the forest people, and they can have a war. Some bastards still riding on the head. Alright. Desert, go. Use the ocean giants to domestic animals to place animals in the largest desert. Okay. Let's come over here and make another mountain. Like over here. That should give us plenty of stuff. You, no. Go back to you. You come here. Place some animals right about.
coming. Oh, he's taking the long way. Nice. That's a gigantic desert. Should be good now. Waterman, come on. This is probably how they balance the game, right? <laughs> Make them walk really slow. There's a giant crab. What kind of animals are we going to get in the desert? If you guessed llamas, you'd be wrong. Camels? Uh, rattlesnakes? Scorpions? Here comes a little man, he's gonna settle. Kangaroo rats. Oh, yuck. <laughs> These guys like to eat kangaroo rats. Okay, well, that's great. I sense it will start a new project. I'm guessing it will. Oh, they start a new project. What are the odds? Its specialization uh, is uh, for each animal within its borders, I get extra food. It needs wealth and food. Okay. Each animal within its borders. Oh, wow. Wasn't well, that great? Seeing as it's not doing anything, it says it's doing. Requires wealth. Alright, you want some minerals? Rock giant. Where are you, rock giant? Come back. I'll show you minerals. Right here, right outside your village. You create some more rats. Maybe right here. Making rats. <laughs> All right, they'll get up to ten pretty soon. Here comes their wealth. Only grants ten wealth though slowly. You can increase this by making sure your villages activate the mineral. They activate it. Click the minerals and view their requirements to activate. Activate symbiosis with five wealth in use. Okay. Raise the wealth. So placing a second quartz may help with this. Okay, sure. Here's some more quartz for you. And they should activate each other, maybe? That'd be cool. Four and... Five. Oh, there we go. Now they're both 18. That symbolizes which even gives more wealth. Eight wealth if next to another quartz. Oh, perfect. I already did that. Improving the village until it finishes this project. Which they did. Oh, yeah. I rock. Achievement unlocked. Excellent work, you perform it admirably. The humans have strengthened their core. You've learned about villagers, resources, especially since, and symbiosis. Time to slumber. Well, guys, that's going to do it for Funshine X's first blind playthrough of uh, Reyes. Um, I guess I'll complete the tutorial in the next video, and then hopefully um, we'll get started on a Let's Play of this. And I will see you then. Until next time, this is Funshine X. Bye.